Okay, I'm going to answer the question of how to make sweet mustard sauce. God knows there's a bunch of ways that one can go about doing this, beginning with taking a brown sauce or a velouté sauce and adding mustard and sugar or mustard and honey to either one of them, with or without cream, with or without maybe some lemon juice. There's a variety of ways this can be made. I'm going to show you one really nice way that is constantly good. That is we're going to take a little bit of brown sauce, that which we made in this class, okay? And here is the brown sauce that we're starting with right here. It's got a nice sauce-like texture to it. See? How it coats the plate. That's very important. Okay, now, now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little bit of mustard. Dijon would be a preferred mustard, either whole grain or smooth, either one. I'm going to put a nice, you know, a couple of big tablespoons in these. I only got about two cups, two and a half cups of brown sauce here, okay? We're going to take a little bit of honey and put that in there. You, know, you want to make it too sweet, you want it just sweet enough. And uh, you can use sugar or honey to do this. This sauce is done right now. Watch this. This sauce is good. I'm going to put a little bit more mustard in it. I'm going to mix it up a little bit more. Let's get it on the fire here for a second. Let's take a peek and see what that sauce looks like on a plate now that the mustard and the honey's in it. You'll notice though, I'm always testing the sauce on a plate. See there? Because that tells me what it's going to look like on the plate. That looks real good. Um, now just to take this one step further for fun, I'm going to take this same honey mustard brown sauce, which is great on grilled chicken and grilled fowl, grilled anything almost, you know. I'm going to take and put a splash of cream in here. I'm going to end up with a little creamy honey mustard brown sauce. Let's take a look at that on a plate now. Now what you got here is, this is starting to fall into the tan sauce category. See there? It's not brown, it's not white, it's kind of in between somewhere. Let's take a taste of that. It's important for you to understand this stock and sauce class in general. I need you to get the spirit of the way in which you can approach making the sauce in terms of the flavoring part. You know, you want to put honey mustard, you want to put cream in it, you want to add lemon juice to it. Um, do you want to put red wine in the brown sauce? Do you want to use white wine? Do you want to use port wine? Do you want to use Madeira? Knowing how to make the brown sauce and what the principles of reducing the wines and being added to it makes it almost insignificant if it's a white wine sauce or a red wine sauce because you know how to make either one of them. They're both basically made the same way, just with a different wine and so on. So um, it's important that you get that from this class. That That's a good sauce. A little sweet, and I think it could use a little bit of lemon juice. And if I was going to serve it, or when I do, I might add some to it. But, um, uh-oh, here comes the lemons. Richard will not let me live like when it's without one. If I can't finish it, he doesn't want it. Let's put a little bit of lemon in there. That's why there's two of us here, Richard. That's good. Thank you very much. Um, so anyway, um, I want you to understand the gist of approaching the sauce. Now, if you want to add herbs, I wouldn't add herbs to this, of course. I think it'd be a waste because there's so much overpowering flavor in the honey and the mustard. But well, and the, the holiday sauce, the white butter sauce, the velouté sauces, any of the plain brown sauces that don't ever already have some substantial flavor in it like this. Add whatever herb you want to it, just about, and that's what I want you to get. So there you have a sweet mustard with honey sauce.